getting away with what I view as, this is me, not you, as a, an American citizen. It looks like there's a lot of coordination from the White House on running cover on Hunter Biden and Biden Incorporated and the attack, this persecution on President Trump. Well, yeah, uh, Nathan Wade, uh, the, the guy from Funny Wills' office, he's uh, supposedly had contact with the White House Counsel's office, with the White House, with the Justice Department, with the January 6th committee, all that going on. It looks shouldn't like it be, on shouldn't the, they be running an independent Well, you would uh, think. You would think now. He's, I, I'm sure he's entitled to some of that information, but we want to know what, you know, how this has all played out, particularly when you think about the fact they're going after their political opponent and the history I just talked about. It started clear back in 15 and 16 when they started spying on his campaign. By the way, based on, based on a confidential human source who we now know lied to him, nothing yeah. seems to happen to Christopher Steele. I'm sure the audience remembers that name. Yep. Now we have this confidential human source who Christopher Ray told us, filled out this 1023 form the FBI did, and Christopher Ray told us that, that this guy, oh, we can't give you the 1023 form. This guy has been a 14-year confidential human source. We've paid him. He's respected. We don't want to risk his safety. And now they arrest the guy, not once, but twice. I don't know. Maybe the guy did lie, but it sure is, a, is a, quite a contrast for Christopher Steele can give false information about President Trump, and he continues to get paid. This guy, this Mr. Smirnoff, can give false information, what they've said is false information, and he gets arrested. Double standard. You know, again. I might just be slow on the go, but I don't think I'm just going to fall for the next Russian collusion immediately. I'd probably wait for proof. Yeah. 2016, it was Trump-Russia collusion. You know, of course, Mueller told us that didn't happen. 2020... It was, oh, the laptops of Russian information op. 51 former intel officials uh, signed that, that statement. Turned out to be baloney. And now here we go again, round three. Maybe it's a case, but it sure seems, sure seems strange to me. What's going to happen with Hunter? Well, he testifies next week in, in, uh, in, a de in our deposition. So we'll, we'll have some questions for him. Uh, we continue to dig into our, in, into our work. What? One thing that I would say for sure is, I say this all the time, there are four facts, four fundamental facts that will never change. Fact number one, Hunter Biden gets put on the board of Burisma, gets paid $1 million a year. Fact number But he is an energy expert. You have to give him that. Right? Fact number... You, he has a lot of energy. You beat me to the punch that. on fact number two. Fact number two, he's not qualified. He said so himself in an interview, I think, with ABC News. Fact number three, Hunter Biden meeting with the... The, the CEOs of, of uh, Burisma, they ask him, can you weigh in and help relieve the pressure we are under from the prosecutor in Ukraine? He calls his, he calls DC, he calls his father, according to his business partner, Devin Archer, when we deposed him. Fact number four, three days after that phone call, Joe Biden goes to Ukraine, conditions the release of our tax dollars, your tax dollars, on the firing of that prosecutor. That went against, by the way. Those four facts are, Joe Biden bragged about the last thing. He bragged about doing that. Those four facts go against what the State Department said they, they needed to happen. They'd send a letter to the prosecutor saying, you're doing a good job. Two months before, they said the Interagency Policy Committee says, oh, Ukraine warrants this $1 billion. Joe Biden changed it. What caused him to change it? Could it have been the phone call from his son asking? And Joe Biden gets this guy fired who's applying the pressure to the company that Hunter Biden sits on the board of making a million dollars a year. That's not supposed to be how things operate. But those facts are fundamental. So regardless of what the Democrats say about this confidential human source, those facts don't change. I just want to go back to the previous question and say the White House counsel is Ed Siskel. I'm not accusing him of doing anything wrong. But I do think there's a lot of wrongdoing associated with the uh, attempt to imprison Joe Biden's general election opponent. And I think we ought to know who the man is. I think we ought to answer some questions. And I, I want to know why the Biden administration and the Biden White House doesn't recuse itself from questions concerning their own campaign. It seems like a very basic thing, and I think that the people of CPAC... Let's start asking questions about Ed Siskel. You agree? Um, you have all these victims. You went back through Russiagate, uh, Russian collusion, what went on during that 2016 campaign. Uh, Mercy and I know this. Um, we've had a lot of calls over the last several years from dear friends who are quietly bankrupted, quietly investigated, quietly having their lives destroyed, quietly having their professional lives destroyed, all because they want to wear a red hat. Yeah. That's the reason. I, I have a, an interesting question for you, something for you to consider. Until all those people get their legal fees back, I think of KT McFarland, who's on my board and spent seven figures of her money just answering basic questions. Until all these victims, we have these J6 victims who are in the crowd, others, 
until they were made whole financially by our government who wronged them, and by DOJ in particular, won't the wrongdoing just keep going on and on and on? No one seems to go yeah. to jail.